Hello, everybody. It's me, Joyce B, sharing the Word of God. Today, I'm going to be sharing in Romans 4, 17. Let's share God's Word. Together, we can make things happen. Together, we can change things when we put God first. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. For everyone who's watching this video today, I'm sharing Romans 4, it's all the way to verse 1 to 25. So I'm going to share some of the word and then I'm going to pray for each and every one of you. Remember, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you and he is watching over you. Now, let's pray. Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. And I ask of you, Father God, in Jesus' name, that you would bless everyone who has taken the time today to watch this video, to like this video, to comment on this video. May it be the seed faith for each and every one of them who's taken that time to comment, who's taking that time to like this video, who's taking that time to make a comment, to say amen, or hello, or good morning. Bless them, Father God. Bless them all, because they took the seed faith. They made a seed faith. They released that seed when they liked this video, Father God, and the seed shall come back to them, would multiply, multiply. With yes answers in every area of their life. Father God, I ask you of you in Jesus' name. Right now, I come to you in faith, O oh Lord God. And I ask of you, O oh Lord God, that you would bless every person who has been here with me all this time, listening to me, sharing your word, Father God. They are about you. They come to you. It's about you, God. You are number one, God. And you will give us what we ask because we speak your word, Father God. And when we speak your word, it cannot come back void, Father God. So right now, Father God, I lay my hands upon all who has taken the time today, taking the time to like this video. I lay my hands on your word, Father God. And I ask of you, Father God, bless every person. Bless everyone who has subscribed to this video. Everyone who has commented and liked this video today. Or just passed it by, Father God. Bless them today. In the area that they need blessings. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May God bless you and guide you to the right directions. And give you knowledge. And give you knowledge and faith to know and to follow the word of God, and to read and speak. When you speak God's word, God's word is prayer. God's word is power. God's word, the Holy Bible, change things. The Holy Bible change things because you speak it. Speak the word daily on your needs. And I want you to come right here to 17. This says Romans 4. And right now, it's, I'm sharing right here, verse 17. Now, I want you to speak this. I mean, this is uh, very, very powerful. And now, see, I'm, uh, I'm getting all excited. <laughs> the Lord, let the Lord excite you. Amen and amen. Let the Lord's word excite you. Hallelujah. Amen. As it is written, I have made thee. A father ooh, of many nations. Amen. Receive it, receive it. Before him whom he believed in, even God who quickened the dead, ooh, and call it those things which be not as though they were, as they were, you see, see, as, um, 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is what I've been saying all along. This is what I've been saying. You speak it and you believe in it, even though what? As if it is there, right there, as you already got your answer. Whatever you're praying for, you already got that answer. You believe that. You receive that. And then you speak the word right here on that, right here. As it is written. Oh. I got to read it again. As it is written, I have made thee a father Ooh. of many nations before him whom he believed it, even God who quickened the dead and called it those things which be not as though they were. See, call it. Call it as though they are right there. Call it. As, and then speak God's word right here. Say, according to your word, God, I'm calling it. I'm calling it as it is, as it, as it were, as it is now. According to your word, Father God, Romans 4, 17. Hallelujah. Amen. Speak it on your knee, y'all. Speak it on your knee, y'all. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. I'm telling you, the word is prayer. As first as if you can speak on your needs. And this is one of the most powerful ones. Who right here? Right there. Romans 4, 17. Who? Amen. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish it. All right. I have a few more verses. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ loves y'all, and remember you are worthy. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not worthy because you are. You are somebody. You know that? You are somebody, and you are worthy. Amen. Amen. Look, and uh -huh, according to that which was spoken. Spoken, so shall thou seed be. Ooh, amen, amen, amen. Oh, and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is wonderful. I hope you all are doing fine today. I know that you are because you came here and you got the word. That's right. Soak up the word. Keep speaking the word. Because every time you speak the word, you are changing something in some situation. Hallelujah. You can pray for others as you do for yourself. You can speak it for your kids, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your friend, a friend of a friend, even your pets. The word works. Hallelujah. The word works. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this is Romans 4. I share it today. All right. I'm going to see it all. I want you to go back over here. And remember, I want you to speak right over here. This is Romans 4, 17. It is the most powerful. You can speak this every day after you say your prayers, after you tell Jesus you need. You can speak this verse. This is what I do. What I do is I speak this verse before I start to pray, and then after I give God my requests, I I'll, I'll say it again, and then I say it again, and then I give I say my prayer and give my request, and then I say it again. I do it three times, all right? Because I, I just that's what I do. That's just what I do. I just want to share that with y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh. Romans four seventeen. Very powerful. Very powerful. Okay, everybody. I'll see, this is George B. saying, I'll see you soon. And remember, Jesus Christ loves you, and he is watching over you. Jesus Christ loves you. I want you to hear it. Hear it. Jesus Christ loves you.